The idea for me and Mary to get on the One More Chance remix was Puff's idea, of course. I mean, back then, everything he did was like an assembly line like type of process. It was like studios were all booked out. And, you know, he would hand a song from one person to the next. Oh, this needs a hook. Oh, this needs a bridge. Oh, this needs... I mean, so when, when he um, asked me to do the hook for the remix of One More Chance, he did... Um, he knew that he wanted one part of it to be similar to the DeBarge record, but that wasn't until later. I actually went in and laid my part, um, the hook that I wrote for uh, the remix first, and then he had Mary come in and do the line that's like the DeBarge song. But I mean, I was there when Mary came in. I think she was there when I did my part. And back then we were like all working on so much so much stuff together, you know what I mean? Like it was just it was just fun. It was just another thing that Puff wants us to do. You know what I'm saying? We didn't, we didn't know it was gonna be you know what it what what it became. I, I know I didn't. <laughs> I don't really think of my uh, music in the sense of like it propelled an empire, but I mean I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, I am actually very, I'm very proud to have been a part and still be a part of the Bad Boy family because that's forever, um, and to be a part of something that was so such a movement. Um, you know when I when I first went to the studio and I sang a couple of lines for Puff and he asked me to sign his new label like immediately within an hour of meeting me. Um, you know, I just, I didn't know what that meant, but I knew in my heart it felt like, okay, you know, I, I was never one to be afraid to try different things, but this felt like a, a good different thing to try. Like, <laughs> And um, I'm so glad that I did. I mean, it, it, I had no clue what, what it would become, what I would become, but um, I just knew that Puff believed in me, and he seemed to be pretty sure about everything he was banking on. He just had a feeling of like, yo, this, I know, for him to see me, this church girl coming in a church outfit, <laughs> I wasn't looking like anybody's artist. I wasn't trying to be an artist. I was just a baby's mama driving my daughter's father to the studio, and I ended up singing two lines on a record and adding my harmonies, and I got a record deal like the same day. You know what I mean? So that... It's something that probably will never, ever be matched. I mean, because it's, it, it will definitely never happen that way again because, you know, I was just a church girl. I didn't have a record deal. I didn't know anything about the industry. So for this guy to see in me something beyond the outfit, <laughs> beyond whatever my funny hairstyle was, <laughs> um, you know, I think that Puff is certainly one to be reckoned with. Um, he certainly made history with Bad Boy and I'm certainly proud to have been a part of the legacy and to still be a part of it because I still hear our records all the time.